Hello everyone, welcome to Veronica Hug. Today I'm going to show you um, how you can do a really nice hold stitch. So I will take 6mm needles for today's project with a length of 60cm. So that means my line is 40cm with two needles that are about 10cm long. So let's start with 120 chains. So now let's close up and make sure that this edge is on the inside of the line so that you don't have twists or knots. Now I'll do knit stitches throughout the whole next row. Here starts the second round. So let's start first the purl stitch, then cast the second one off. Leave the thread behind and go forward and do two more purl stitches. So take care of the thread. So you can always remember three purl stitches and one cast off. So I started with the one purl stitch and I will always cast the next one off, in my case now with the blue section, and the yellow are the purl stitches. So the end was two purl stitches since I began with the one purl stitch and this is our whole row now. 
Now the next one is again in knit stitches all the way and you just keep repeating these two rows. So I'm finishing the rows with the mid stitches and you can now see how I'm starting the row with the purl stitches. So you can kind of already see the pattern, but the more you work, the more visible it gets. So here I am, I marked the beginning that you see here. So you can see what this looks like after 60 rows. You can always check by counting the little V's, so 30 V's means 60 rounds. So here is the beginning of a loop scarf in my case. I still need a lot to finish for it to look good, so yeah, I can end it then nicely and weave everything in. As you can see, the project is pretty simple, so I think it would also be okay for beginners as well, but feel free to let me know if you found this too difficult or if you've maybe done it easily. As you can see, the results are also pretty quick, so you don't have to work too long before you actually see what you did. But all in all, this is it, so I will show you how you can cast the last row off to get the needles out and the line out. So let's first do a knit stitch. And again a knit stitch and then cast off like you usually would and then again and now here we simply skip on one and pull it apart later And then here, watch what I do. So take the thread and go through the loop for a total of four times. Knit stitch and cast off. Two times knit stitch and cast off. In the middle we again leave out, so this is also pretty simple as you can see. I will use this crochet needle to show you how you can do the chains easier and faster.
as you can see, you can use the needle for the whole thing. So this is the end now, cut off and weave in. And now we need to deal with the sections we left out on purpose, so just keep pulling on them to get the effect that we want.
So here is the effect. You see how these parts now look so small compared to the pole stitches. But anyway, I wanted to show you that you can always do another row out of just chains as a nice ending. Um, so I think that's a really nice way to end and begin. It kind of gives the whole piece, let's say a frame or a beginning and the end. So feel free to do those symmetrically. So that's what I'm going to do, so feel free to watch and repeat. Always take care to skip both stitches with 3 chains. And that's how you have the same beginning and end. So my loop is now done and symmetrical and you can put it two times around your neck for the best look possible. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the project. Feel free to let me know what you think. If you found this difficult or rather easy, I'd also be happy to hear about that, about the whole process of doing this. And yeah, feel free to subscribe to the channel if you like the video and to shoot a thumbs up. So by subscribing for free, you can always access my older videos I already posted and you can also check out the new videos as soon as I post them. So thanks for watching Veronica Hug, I'll see you in our next video and until then have a great day. Bye!